How's it going everyone? Danny Rodriguez here. It's time to review Fear of the Walking Dead, Season 2, Episode 6, title Sakut Service. Probably butchered that name, man, but real quick, it's raining outside and it's been pouring since the morning all the way to the night, South Texas rain. Now, it's I don't know if it's making a big noise, but if you hear a little stuff to the side, it's the rain and it's pissing me off and I live right next to that window there and I have to, I hear it all day, so please, I hope it's not that loud, man, but I'll try to talk as loud as I can and all that good stuff, but next week is the mid-season finale for Fear of the Walking Dead, so let's get ready, next week is Preacher as well, and if you haven't uh, seen or known, I do react to the Fear of the Walking Dead episode, so make sure to check out my reaction to this episode and the other uh, episodes, if you feel like it, man. I try to make them less than 30 minutes long, and you can always skim through them if you want. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be reacting to Preacher. I probably will react to the first episode, and if I see other people putting up their reactions, then I'll put up my reaction, too. Uh, I just want to make sure I'm safe and, you know, copyright all no, none of that stuff and all that, uh, the strikes and all that stuff, because it's, uh, it's risky, man. You upload a video on YouTube, you risk your life, you know, you risk your life on there, so... I want to make sure I'm, uh, I'm I'm clean and shaven on YouTube. So, anyway, it should take me less than two minutes to recap the episode, give you the pros, cons, and final score. Let's get right to it, baby. This episode, it was quite a doozy. It was quite a doozy in a good way. It was it was great. I remember, man. Remember when there were haters on Fear of the Walking Dead? This show sucks. This is a horrible show. It's a slow-paced show. But season two picked it up. Season two is where it really like defined like holy crap, they can do it. They can actually make something out of it. And it's its own show now, so here we go. First off, we see Mexico or what I assume is Mexico and there's a church going on and you know, it's talking in Spanish and you know, it's like Catholic and taking the, the bread or you know, the little bread chips and like the communion and saying like those enemies outside you know, we'll defeat them, they're trying to make us forget our faith and belief and all that. But they all die, they all are poisoned, and they're bleeding from the eyes and everything. And Abigail, actually Thomas Abigail comes, and he's in the truck, and he's like, you know, like, Father, and all that, like, the priest, and, you know, they're bleeding, and the, the kids are dying. It's really, it's a shocker, because you're like, what the hell? I, you didn't know it's poison at the time when you're actually doing it. You're like, holy crap, what's going on? So that happens, man, and they're, uh, the ship's going on, Abigail... They're uh, they're on the Abigail, of course, and this crew is coming. There's these two guys on a boat that actually board the ship, so a lot of the crew uh, on the Abigail end up heading to the engine room, and um, Luis and Strand end up talking to these two men, and they end up getting into a fight, and there's gunshots going on, and we find out that Luis is dying. He's shot, and he's on the ground, and this is what happens, man. Daniel throws his coin, because he brings a coin out, and he's like, tell my mother, give this to my mother. And, like, Daniel grabs it, and he throws it in the ocean. And I was like, what a dick. Like, I was like, dude, like, not cool whatsoever. That's a very asshole move. And Daniel used to be my favorite. And he just, he, he went on my shit list, basically, where I'm like, Daniel, come on, what are you doing? Like, poor Luis, because Luis barely did much in the show, and then he dies. And I'm like, Luis, no, you know, I was very sad about that. Either way, that happens, man. They end up making it on land, and there's this church, and they see the church from the opening of the episode, and Strand sees Abigail's um, truck and everything. He's like, Abigail, you know, he's looking for him, and all these walkers just start appearing, dude, like a mass of walkers that died earlier in, uh, in the church. So a fight goes on, dude. They have machetes on the floor and everything, and they're using it. Nick's being a badass. Travis is being a badass. Everyone's being a badass. Uh, Madison almost gets bit or killed, and Chris doesn't do anything, and Alicia sees it, and she's like, Chris, you know, like, because, you know, Chris and Madison have a bad history at the moment. So, fight goes on, they end up arriving at the estate or mansion of Abigail, and we find out that Abigail was bit, Thomas is bit. So, he's slowly dying, he has a fever and all that. Uh, but he talks with Strand, you know, they're having a few last moments together, excuse me. Uh, Chris threatens Alicia. Which was a very, uh, very ballsy moment of sorts. He, like, grabs Alicia and never put your hands on a woman. Like that. I mean, I mean, come on. You know what I mean? Like, he literally was just, like, whoosh, like, waste and everything. And he's like, don't tell Madison and all that. Like, you just make yourself look more of a bad person, Chris. I mean, you're basically, if you want to talk to Alicia and tell her, just sit down and talk to her. But don't 
push her to the wall and everything, but I think she should have should should have just like low blow or something to hit and freaking pushed him and laugh. I don't hate Chris or anything. He's going through stuff. He's you know whatever his character is going through, but it's not looking good for him. Uh, so anyway, Daniel is uh, acting weird. He's really acting almost crazy. P uh, PTSD, whatever, post traumatic stress, or even just suicidal in a sort of way. Nick talks to Celia, which Celia is Abigail's mom, and uh, what does it say? Tom, um, Tom moves. Oh, Tom is even more sick now at the time, and Strand ends up saying, "I can go with you. Like I can, I, I can die. You basically, when you die, there's nothing left for me here, so I could just, I could die with you, sort of thing." So there's zombies in the cellar. That's the one thing Daniel sees that, that, that Celia is keeping their loved ones in a cellar. And what does that remind me of? Herschel on the farm when he has all the family in the, in the barn. Now, is it bad that they're almost copying it in a sort of way? No, I mean, who's to say there's not more locations where, you know, say your mom turned into a walker and you keep her in a closet or something because you don't want to, you don't know what's going on. I mean, they didn't have zombies and games and all that in movies, so you don't know what's really going on, whether they're sick or not, or like, you know what I mean? So, I, I, I is it a bad thing? I mean, it's just sort of the same situation, but it's not a barn or, it, it's, you know, well, well, you know, it's, it's interesting to see it go back again. So, Daniel ends up confronting Celia and she uh, actually poisoned some of them, or at least that's what she said, is she poisoned the church or... She has that bread stuff, and she actually made it, so she put poison in them. Uh, so Ophelia prays um, to her mom and everything and tries to talk to her mom, and Nick's there, and he sees the owl, the carved owl on the tree, and it's sort of like that little moment there, like, oh, my God. Uh, other than that, Tom ends up dying, man, and Strand has to shoot him through the pillow and kill him. Uh, Chris is going to kill Madison, at least from what it looks like. Chris goes in, he grabs a knife, and poof, Strand shot Abigail, and Madison looks, and she's like, Chris, like, what are you doing? And Alicia, and she's like, get out! And this is why I don't like women. I mean, I, mean, I, I, I love my women, but I'm saying, like, you know, like, get out! You know, and you're like, oh, wait, hold on, wait. Like, he should have said something, like, he should have said something about the gunshot or something, like, I was grabbing the knife or something, or I was, I was grabbing, but he ends up just walking out, and, you have to you have to say something, Chris. You have to be like, wait, it's not what you think. And then she'll be like, get out. And you know, all that all that stuff. So I guess it's not ever going to look good for Chris now because, you know, now what I said is Travis is going to try to protect Chris and it's going to break Travis and Madison apart. So anyway, he leaves. Strand is, uh, Strand didn't take the poison. He didn't end up taking it after all, which is good because he won't end up in the cellar. And also good thing is, is that Abigail won't turn into a walker. What did I think about this episode overall, ladies and gentlemen? First off, let me give you the pros. I enjoyed Chris this episode. I like where he's going down the road. I like where they're bringing his character, and I like the way he acts, because the actor, obviously acting and actors, but the actor is not the same way he is in real life to the show. He's more comedic, actually, outside the show, and makes people laugh. And in the show, he's all dark and depressing, and, oh, and has, a, has a vendetta against Madison, so it's interesting to see, actually, that go down, and it's been well written naturally in the way he plays it. Daniel Ruben Glaze, man. Now let me tell you something about Ruben Glades. Uh, or Ruben Blades. Is it Glades or Blade? Ruben Blades. Ruben Blades. Anyway, whatever. Daniel. Oh my God. Like, I'm kind of mixed where they're gonna go with this character, where they're heading. But you know, I like some parts of it, man. I did. I did enjoy where he goes up to Celia and kind of confronts her and all that good stuff. Uh, the ending of the episode definitely was probably the most intense part about it. It's a very intense episode. The action in here, the practical effects, the, the walker look, the makeup and all that good stuff, and even the kids are killing kids. And uh, Nick's a badass in here. Nick does do a lot of badass stuff going on in this uh, episode. But it's emotional, and I, you can see in the reaction, too, because I wanted to cry so much. I mean, with the whole Abigail and Strand stuff, it is a beautiful storyline that they were doing. And to see that come to an end so quickly and abruptly, man, it's it's sad. It, you know, you would think Abigail would at least die in the mid-season finale, not the episode before it. But it, it was sad to see that happen, and you feel for Strand, and you, you, you care for the character in a, in a, in a way, man. So it, it's sad to see that happen, and it's not right, but... Hey, you can't control it, right? 
the I wish they could have showed how he got bit though. But the opening of the episode was good. It was really awesome seeing you know everyone bleed from their eyes and really intense and gross. Uh, intense, like I said, Nick's badass and with Ophelia, or uh, even when he's with Ophelia and Karen for her, but he's not really paying attention. He's kind of going through his own little days. So every character has their little moment of days, or uh, even Trav is trying to protect Chris and all that stuff. So the only cons about this episode, Luis's death, which they really didn't make Luis's death such a big thing. They, but again, Daniel went over and stabbed a bunch of the heads, and I was like, don't stab Luis, don't stab Luis, he's still alive and all that. Uh, but Luis's death, man, that was something where I was like, oh, Luis was kind of cool, why'd you have to kill him off? And then the zombies in the cellar, but oh well, you know, I, I said oh well, like, I can't do nothing, I can't control it. Is it the right move or is it the wrong move? I mean, what else are you going to do to add conflict? And Celia is basically a crazy person, so no surprises. The apocalypse and, well, poor Abigail, but at least he doesn't have to go through any of that stuff, too, so... I'm gonna end up to uh, I'm gonna end up giving this Fear the Walking Dead episode an A minus. I thought it was a great episode, man. It definitely had some good emotion in there, good acting, a lot of good acting in there. The action was a top notch. Uh, it's just another great episode. Last week was okay or good, but this episode was just great, and I can't wait for next week because it's finally picked up. The action is amazing. The acting's really good. The writing and every every character so interesting. I'm glad they give Ophelia a little more stuff because give Ophelia a little bit more scenes, man. Bring it on. I need a little bit more Ophelia going on. Uh, but the whole Chris stuff really intrigues me so much. Chris and Strand are the two right now that are really intriguing. We're like, where are we going with this? Where, how are we going to do it? So, man, comment down below to me what you guys thought about this episode, what you would have changed, what you wouldn't. I mean, what's going on now? Make sure to like, comment, and share the video. Hit that, see my reaction as well, and hit that subscribe button for more. I'll see you next week, and I'll see you in my reaction videos if you feel like it. Have a good day, a good week, a good month, and a good year. Until next time, bye-bye.